Hey beauty, I've got an exciting package from Walmart today. This is the Walmart Dyson dupe. I got this in this morning. You know I had to come on here and immediately share with you. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of affordable fashion content like Walmart and Amazon hauls, also DIY beauty and things like this. So if you enjoy that kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below this was like 45 ish dollars at the end of the day with tax and shipping and everything it came out to like 49 something so closer to 50 bucks but that's literally 90 percent cheaper than 600 version as always everything will be linked down in the description box below let's get started <laughs> Before I do anything with my hair, you know I gotta open this up. It's actually in a box that's a lot more thin than I expected. There she is. So we have the little motor with the plug. It has three levels and a push button. It does also come with the basic round brush blow dryer, a flat brush blow dryer, the regular blow dryer. This is what I'm most excited for. So obviously I don't have the original to compare it to. It's all actually plastic and it does show you the arrow on which side. So I would use this one on my right side. Here is the other side. It does come with five pieces plus the motor. It doesn't have a carrying case or anything like that. I think that the actual Dyson does, but I mean, I got this for $45. I'm sure I have a makeup bag or something that I can store this in. So here is the cord. It does seem pretty long. Let me prep my hair before I get too excited and start blow drying it. So I'm going to start off with this Marc Anthony Grow Long Super Fast Strength Leave-In Conditioner. I just kind of spray that throughout my hair really quickly. And then I'm also going to go in with this Madison Reed Loud and Proud Volumizing Foam. I'm just going to take a couple pumps of that and just work it through my roots. Oh, by the way, this hair towel that I was wearing in my intro, look how much water it soaked up. This was sent to me by Madison Reed, along with the two Madison Reed products that I'm using. I encourage you to try out a actual hair towel because it really does get out all the excess water from my hair so that I'm not having to blow dry longer or have dripping hair forever. It really does help my thick hair dry faster. And then I'm gonna go in with the Madison Reed Sleek Attack Styling Cream. I just take like a, what is that? Like a nickel quarter size amount and run that all through my hair. Really just helps me smooth out all of my damage honestly this is actually the kenra blow dry heat spray but i poured it into these spray bottles because i dropped it and the sprayer stopped working of course i didn't want to waste that product so i ran to amazon and bought a two pack of these little sprayers i actually use one for my setting spray i feel like we should use the brush so I'm gonna just go through and brush all my hair with the brush attachment. So it does have arrows to attach this to. It says push. You kind of like have to twist it on like that. I'm not gonna section my hair while I brush it because I really just wanna brush it out. I'm gonna turn it to level one. Okay, so that brushed out my hair pretty easily. The level one is the cool setting. It never got warm or hot in any way. I'm gonna go up to level two and just see if it gets warm.
Level two did get warm. Did you notice that the brush went through my hair a lot easier when I went up to level two? I think I'm gonna go straight into blow drying my hair. Don't people do their hair like this? But I feel like this attachment is so thin that it doesn't really do that. And I saw somewhere that you're not even supposed to use it like this, but I've seen a lot of people do it like this, so I'm gonna try it. This one did not give that dramatic effect where it blows straight up like the actual Dyson does. But like I said, I'm not sure that you're even supposed to do it like that. I got a hair in my eyelash. I'm just gonna go through and try and blow dry my hair as best as possible. It did not get that hot. I would say it was like a medium high heat. Definitely not as hot as my Hot Tools round brush blow dryer gets, but if you're someone who doesn't wanna use a lot of heat on your hair, that could be a good thing. My hair did actually dry pretty fast. I would say it's about like 85% dry. It does still feel a little damp, but I have seen tutorials of the Dyson blow dryer and it does say to blow dry your hair first with this attachment about 80%. So I'm just gonna move on and section my hair and we'll try out the, I'm gonna go on this side first, I think. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's start on a three and see what it does. I'm gonna bring it down to a cool to set it. Oh, do you see that? That is exciting. That is our first little curl. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna take it all the way up to the level three and then bring it down to a level one to set it. And that curl does feel fully dry, whereas this strand does still feel a little damp. Okay, I feel like this curl might have been too thick of a strand. I'm just going to separate it and try again. <laughs> Look at those bouncy curls. I will say that some of them are like not as perfect as if I would have used my curling iron, but it is my first time trying this. <laughs> Everything takes a little practice. Popping this off, it's a little warm. <laughs> and we're switching sides. So I think I've figured out how to get it to curl all by itself. Let's try this. I'm sorry, I cannot contain my excitement. Look how beautiful that curl is. My hair is gonna be so bouncy. Hopefully these curls last too, because if they do, like seriously, 50 bucks for this. And honestly, I was in need of just like a regular blow dryer. I was about to go buy like a $10 cheap one from Walmart and I saw that this was in stock. It's been going viral. So, you know, I purchased it immediately. <laughs> I 
I went back on this side to recurl because look how tight and bouncy that side looks compared to this side and I think what I did is I helped the hair go around where on this side I tried to let the blow dryer do it all. I think that's what the difference was so I'm gonna try this side again. Those curls look a little bit more even. I'm gonna try and do the same thing where I get all the strand on the blow dryer. It might be easier to do top and bottom on one side and then switch your barrel so you're not going back and forth between barrels. I'm gonna do the front upwards. When I forget to move this back up to level three, it doesn't have as much like sucking power. So those curls don't grab on as easy. That's how I know to turn it up if I am having issues with my hair catching on this blow dryer part. But so far I am very impressed. Like very, very, very impressed. <laughs> Look at that. My hair is gonna be so bouncy. I almost don't even want to clip this back. Here is the final look of this blowout and honestly I am shocked at how much volume it gave me. It was actually really easy for me to control this like with one finger just using my thumb on both sides. It was easy to change out the plates given they do get a little bit hot between changing them which is why I suggested doing like one side at a time. Clearly the volume is definitely there. It's not too crazy loud or anything like that. It's just like a normal blow dryer. Clearly none of my dogs were even bothered by it so that speaks volumes because sometimes with extra loud things they kind of don't like it but especially him right there he's a big baby and he sat with me the entire time basically so yeah I'm very impressed I'm not even gonna lie. Let's just spray some of this Orbe dry texturizing spray and just kind of shake it out. I do also like to just finger comb most of my curls. Wow, you guys, what do you think? It's making my hair feel so thick and full. If you watched my tape ends removal video, then you know I did pull out a lot of my natural hair. So the fact that I feel like my hair has a lot of thickness right now is it definitely speaking good things about this blow dryer it's actually nice and smooth i didn't expect my hair to be this smooth after using it i expected it to still be frizzy like it was when i used the first attachment all in all this was 50 dollars well spent especially because i was already in the market for a regular blow dryer I honestly don't think that I will use this attachment all that often because this gave me such good results, but it is good to have, you know, if I want to quickly do my bangs or something, I don't know. This I definitely will use just to smooth out my hair just in between styling and of course the blow dry attachment that was really nice it blow dried my hair really quickly and it's already three so i'll probably just come back on before i remove my makeup tonight and see what my hair actually looks like but y'all this is a good blowout oh yeah i do also want to spray in this eva nyc just glisten hair and body shine mist just because I feel like my hair needs a little extra help in the shine department. Okay, I need to stop looking at my hair and get some things done, but we'll be back to see how this holds up. 
It is 8.50, so we're going on almost six hours, and this is what my hair looks like. No touch-ups or anything. It still looks and feels like I did it 10 minutes ago. The curls are still intact. My bangs laid exactly how I wanted them to, and it's still super soft and fluffy and bouncy. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. It was easy to work with, easy to figure out. You definitely need this in your life if you have been wanting a blow dryer like this. And I actually did already have a little makeup case that it fit in. So I was able, the makeup case is a little dirty. I probably should. <laughs> throw it in the wash or something but I was able to fit it all in here and then I put those barrels right in there I am so happy that I ended up buying this definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below I really hope that you enjoyed this video and this review slash first impression if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and let's be friends thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next time bye bye